It's time for Ghost and Goose Stitching! Hello, it's Ghost here, and welcome to the next episode of Stitching Adventures, in which we are once again drawing. And this time, it's a drawing that I just couldn't quite get right, which is always fun. So, what you can see here is what was the original design, and um, I did two triangles, and then basically tried to work the shape and have the triangles I originally wanted to do it with, like the bodice being similar to some stays that are on the VNA website that I like and then I wanted to do kind of a crinoline for the skirt and then like have something underneath like a pleated skirt or something because I had these pictures that you can see in there of I think they're Cirque du Soleil costumes like, I don't remember what show they're from but I went ah oh, yes pretty we're putting that on there but as you'll see eventually is I kept working on this for a while couldn't get it correct then decided let's add a fitted skirt underneath took away the tabs readjusted the bodice a couple times because this is technically the dress for district three and it was like technology I think that one so I wanted to try and make it look a little bit different and then I spent forever putting together this kind of mesh pattern using a brush and just piecing it all up um that was a waste of time and then for some reason it slowed down and didn't want to let me click on do so eventually we get the dress kind of sorted and then I started adding the colors underneath and it was all going well and I wasn't particularly keen on it at this point but I kept going because I thought oh maybe it'll look better at the end and fixed up the colors so I wanted to give it almost a holographic kind of look if that makes sense but I should have added like white in to try and calm the colour. So then I just scrapped it and started again. I think that's what we're doing here. So I started by just kind of drawing the basic lines on for the new skirt and bodice. I will fix that strap eventually, I think. Because I realised, oh, if I restart it, I can get it better this time. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing on like the peplums and stuff that are on this costume that yes they're kind of semi-inspired by Catherine Parr's costume in Six the Musical because I thought oh that will add like another layer because the skirt looks really flat. So you can see the boning channels that would go on the skirt because for some reason I decided to put that in there and I think I fixed the strap at this point. Yeah I have done that. Apparently I stopped drawing for a bit. I don't know why I did that. But we'll have to fix the footage. Oh no, they'll be back. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. So yeah, when I do the, all of these drawings, they're all drawn onto the same figure that I use just repeatedly because it kind of it's at the right sort of angle to get the drawing right. And then I start erasing like the body parts from underneath, like the dresses and stuff where I don't need them. Um, and I decided I was going to do very similar sleeves to the ones I did on my original design, which I'm not going to share because it's really boring. That was inspired by Starlight Express. Not that I've ever seen or really listened to it, but my mum had mentioned it and it was about trains and I went, that'll do. Um, so the sleeves would be made of like a light organza material or something similar on this design. The bodice part would be very structured. The skirt would have a lot of structure, but it would also have loads of organza. Because for some reason, despite the fact I hate organza so very much, I decided to put it into like every single one of these designs. So, yay me. That's why we're never going to make these. Um, and then I wanted the sleeves to go all the way down to the wrists, because why not? Um, the colour palette for this is going to be like black and grey because I wanted to put the colour in there so that it kind of just is picked up on. Um, kind of similar to the silver alternate costume for um, six except like you don't get that much of the silver stuff come through because there's loads of like little details on it. Um, and then I started adding the colour in which is my favourite part honestly. I love doing the colouring in of these drawings because it's kind of just sit, throw some colour at it add some shading and call it a day and I just have to remember to like lighten layers and stuff where you're meant to be able to see the layer below through it which is what I had to do on the sleeves and then I wanted to work out ways to try and get them to look shiny and I think what I did was I duplicated the layer I then put it onto a glow setting and took the soft eraser brush and kind of just randomly went over it so it took away some of it so you kind of get different layers but like you can tell it's there and it looks better in the final drawing 
I'll save that. And then to do this kind of holographic section, I did a base colour and then did all of my coloured sections in red, green and blue. Um, smudged them, put them in a glow and a lower opacity and then kind of just made sure they blended out nicely. And that's what I did because that made it look how I wanted. So there's the design. I then do the usual thing of adding hair and some sort of hair accessories. I think we went for Catherine Howard for this because I just went, yeah, that'll do. It kind of doesn't look really big and puffy with the rest of the outfit because that's all puffy and stuff. And then I use sniffing tool to copy a section of the skirt in. But that's it. So goodbye the internet. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will see you again soon.